So the solutions to this sets question, let me tell you one time, I'm just going to select the answer so you can... Nah, select the answer in here. Nah, select the answer in here. Let me explain the important thing here. The number of subsets is 2 to the power of n all the time. What does this mean? You take 2 and you put it to the power of how many items you're seeing there. So in the first question, what do you think the answer is? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. You have an empty set. You have a full set. We have the set with just one item. And we have the set with the mix of them. So you have the empty set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 set. Most people forget the empty set if they try to list it out like this. But you don't need to list it out. You can just put 2 to the power of the number of elements. How many elements are seen in here? Second question has 0 elements. So that's 2 to the power of 0. That's not zero, you know. That's one. Because the empty set is a set. So it has one set that you can make from it. That's the subset. This one, the answer is not zero. Or one, the answer is actually two. Because it's two to the power of how many elements are you seeing there? One. Two to the power of one is two. So your answers were D, B, and C. How many of them you got out there? See you in the next multiple choice session that we do in Antigua. By the way, if you're signing up for online classes, the student hub, that's my school, the student hub has the best online classes in the region. No cap, best online classes in the region. So sign up with this, with, with our WhatsApp to this number. Love and blessings.